Hi, I have Pillow Hat from Hudson Valley. Their little IPA, they call it, 4% citra wheat. That's about it. And this one's coming up on close to two months old. Just sent here though. So we'll see. I have only had sour beers from Hudson Valley. And this one is not that, so. I haven't really been able to get a sense of like well, how it is when they use like straight hops and yeast. Do they have a house yeast ester character? We'll see. That's really, really, really pale. Not super duper hazy, but quite hazy, but that's that is cracker pale. That's pretty nice for a 4% IPA. Oh okay, yeah, this has a um, Maybe it's just because of the citra, but it has that uh, kind of bubblegum cotton candy thing. Not bubblegum like you would get from a Belgian yeast, but it's also just the citra creates this like juicy fruit gum thing. It's kind of your generic, just confectionery candy sort of thing. That's why I also say cotton candy, even though I don't know, cotton candy doesn't really have a smell that much. It's just sugar and like coloring, basically. Yeah, no dankness or anything. Doesn't smell old though. Seems like they packaged their beer as well. Plenty of flavor, quite. Hmm. Kind of interesting, but yeah, it's it's real bubble gummy actually. Tastes like big league chew. It's kind of grape, grape bubble gum like. Hmm. I don't really normally associate that with citra, but it does taste super citra forward. And it is um, kind of fluffy and light body, especially it's nice for four percent. Pretty sweet, but there's a a little bit of a peppery, not quite chalky feeling finish, but it definitely has some some hops that are drying it a little bit. Hmm. Refreshing. Session IPA isn't really my favorite style, but this is done pretty well, but it's, it's just like too much on the, the sweet, all flavors of chewing gum. I don't know, it's every flavor of chewing gum, it's zebra stripe. Though actually, I've never liked zebra stripe that much myself. And it's nothing really that special. There are other brewers making good Session IPAs like this. This one, I guess, is, is pretty distinct in that candy and citra quality, if you like that. A little bit of spiciness, but it's it's not ultra sweet. But it's real estery. Then you like that one. Um, yeah, I don't know if their clean IPAs are their their thing. Obviously, it's their sour IPAs that are pretty impressive and unique. Um, so maybe that's what I'll focus on next time I can get a chance to buy them. For a rating, I guess it deserves like a four. Bye-bye.